does not need to bring any document today. For example, to get a passport, if you needed to bring about uh, six, seven different kind of documents, now you don't need to bring even ID. But we have databases for everybody. We can check all the information if it is needed. For example, I don't know, criminal reports uh, or other information. And you are just bringing the picture which you can take in our office. And then you can get an ID or passport without any problem. So we call public service always some kind of hub of uh, public services. We have kids area, you know, public service home because many people are coming together with their kids and uh, while they are getting services, kids can play there and uh, there, there is special space for them. Uh, here in the middle, uh, everywhere public service hall, there is free computer, free access to the internet. So in uh, the time when you, while you are waiting for your document, uh, for the 10 minutes, uh, you can check just your, your Facebook account or you can check uh, anything you want in the, in the internet. concept of Tbilisi public service hall. There is 5,000 square meters of uh, big hall where like every day is, uh, we have 15,000 transactions. So 15,000 uh, uh, like uh, persons are coming there and they are getting different uh, services, up to 500 services. Very important was, this is the Tbilisi public service hall which uh, we opened in September last year. And uh, very important is that we brought also private sector in this uh, uh, public service uh, halls and uh, there is special space for private sector and also we started working together with them. For example, why not to link issues of ID and the opening of the bank account if you need, yes? Why to have separate services from governmental sector and from private sector? And now we're like, uh, we started working on that in uh, like, like last year, but unfortunately there were elections and we're out of government now. But uh, like, uh, still we, uh, we, we are pushing like new government to go forward. This is public service hall in one of the cities uh, in Gori, for example. This is public service hall in Tel Aviv. So we also build it up the new buildings for public service hall and each of them are quite unique architecture which we have around Georgia. This is public service hall in Quareli. And also, especially in regions, public service halls, they become not only the places where citizens can get services, but the places where they can use facilities for knowledge exchange. For example, we're giving space to different organizations, companies, NGOs, just individuals, uh, presentations for presenting the ideas. I don't know, uh, projects what they want to start in Georgia. This is Batumi Public Service Hall, Nestia Public Service Hall. But uh, also very important is that innovation uh, does not uh, stop here. Um, two years ago we also again came back to the table and we think, can we uh, innovate something else in the Public Service Hall? Can we add on top of that something else? And we introduced first Just Cafe service in Tbilisi Public Service Hall. What is Just Cafe? You are coming to the, you are to the cafe for your lunch. You are, I don't know, ordering sal some salad, Caesar salad, for example, some steak, like a medium rare. And plus, in addition to that, you can order passport for you, uh, property registration, company registration. You can get married directly there, or you can register birth of your child. And while you are having your meal, all these things are done for you, and you are receiving all the documents, what you need from the public service hall. Another interesting service is, uh, this is Just Cafe, which is operating now in Tbilisi. Another interesting service is Just Drive. We, maybe many of us, we tried McDonald's drive through yes? From the window you are getting hamburger. So here, instead of hamburgers from the window, you are getting passports, again, property registration document, or you are registering company in just five minutes, as a business in Georgia, on your, or uh, you are being uh, like a, 
bringing the tax payment declarations and so on. So, up to this everything, there, there is some service delivery statistics. Average uh, consumer number now in public service roles every day in all around Georgia is 23,000 uh, persons. Average waiting time is 45 seconds in order to get the service. And every service delivery time is uh, something like uh, three and something, four minutes later. Uh, this is the Dream Index, uh, Consumer Satisfaction International Index. There is some benchmarks for public sector, and the, uh, the index uh, is 78, this benchmark. For financial sector, where these customer-oriented services are most developed in banking sector, yes, is 98. For public service hall, we have 107, this dream index. And uh, by the way, this international company who is doing the uh, uh, all these like uh, researches, they cross-checked several times because they couldn't believe that in public sector there is better, let's say, customer satisfaction than in private sector. We have, of course, international recognition in 2012. We have received UN Public Service Award for Public Service Hall. Uh, Hillary Clinton, who visited Public Service Hall in Batumi, uh, she, I don't know, she's promoting now this Public Service Hall all around Georgia, and there are many governments, many different countries who are coming to Georgia who wants to experience all this uh, expertise, what we have created. There were special debates in the uh, Lord, uh, House of Lords in uh, UK, where lords were asking to their minister to have same kind of like uh, services from governmental side as we have in Georgia, and there is big increasing interest from UK in this case. So in 2011, uh, 2012, we also started working on uh, another direction. Because one is buildings, one is all these uh, areas where we brought all services together. But very important is in digital age, in information age, that the services should be available in online, of course. That is why we implemented the new project, EID card project, uh, which has uh, contact and contactless interface, and we started putting all the services in online as well. We created web page MyGoG, where all citizens can get same services in online as well. Almost same service, almost all services. For example, to get a passport, you need to come to the office because you need to put your fingerprint, of course. But for the rest of the services, you can use your ID. Each citizen in Georgia, they have own uh, account, let's say, uh, on this MyGoG, and through MyGoG, they can receive all different uh, services in Georgia. Why it is very important, online services, because uh, process is transparent, impossible of corruption, because you cannot bribe, co bribe computer, of course, uh, and uh, this is some kind of guarantee for public services. Less resources and cheap services, and uh, reduction of bureaucracy. You can get 24-7 services all around the world. And uh, uh, very important is again that everything is oriented on the citizen and you don't need to come to go to any offices or to go even to the public service hall to get these services. But most important and interesting is that we think that future is in proactive services. What does it mean? So services which are organized around you without any applications, without any statements in uh, different I don't know, governmental agencies and so on. For example, uh, in Georgia, if you are getting 65, there is some pension from government, yes? And for that day, you need to write down the uh, application, you fill it, uh, fill it the applications, and somebody should make the decision that you will receive from government some money when you are 65. We think that the future services is that you will not need any kind of application, you will receive just SMS uh, with a uh, message that happy birthday, you are 65 and here is your 200 USDs which you will receive, I don't know, uh, for yourself. Or, uh, for example, uh, we already have services like birth and death registration in Georgia. When a child is born in maternity house, automatically doctors are registering this everything uh, in uh, the database, in online, from all maternity houses. And uh, citizens can no need to come to public service only in order to take this, uh, to, to all go through all these procedures. 
Same is about death registration. By the way, we have quite a big problem of death registration rate in Georgia. And whenever we introduce this system now, some people are kidding that before people will die, their death is registered already. So the system knows two minutes earlier that person is dying. You know? there, there is a joke like this. Now I want to show you uh, another video which will uh, show you where we were like, and where we are going. It is some kind of futuristic video about our imaginations in Georgia and all like uh, in other countries as well.
So, so in this in this move, we wanted to show you really the future where I don't know all countries can go. One of the biggest questions which what city what citizens have and people have what about data protection? Yes, if there will be everything so automated, how we will we work with personal data? That's why we created a separate I don't know law on data protection in Georgia, and there is special system which say I don't know uh, which which helps you to manage all your personal data by yourself. With an ID, with the technologies, there is a big difference that we are giving in hand of the citizen management of all the data surrounding him. And uh, like it depends on the citizen whether they want to have all the services which are available like in country or they want to have just part of the services which can be available there. In this movie we showed the uh, e-healthcare system, e-education system, e-business, what we wanted to develop in Georgia. Why I'm saying what well, we wanted to develop? Because uh, unfortunately, in 2012, 1st of October, we lost the elections, and uh, we have now a new government in power. For them, it's not so big priority to develop all these technological directions. And sometimes they're saying that why should Georgia do all this public service all and everything? We are not uh, in, in, if even developed countries are not doing that. If there is not public service hall in the United States. Why should we have that in Georgia? Let's first work and you know, on other directions. I don't know to, to, to developing country. But we think that countries, small countries like Georgia, they should show how they can be fast develop themselves. We should not. I don't know. For example, first industrialize our country and then. Uh, bring our country to information society, yes? That's why I think that uh, there is key difference between other them and, uh, and them. Uh, so, uh, why, why there is a uh, uh, big, I don't know, uh, problem today? Because, let's say, we were working from top to the bottom, yes? We were working from top to the bottom, and we were initiating all these reforms from the governmental side. So, ministries, different departments, agencies, they were implementing this everything and in fact all this infrastructure was already uh, like ready for usage from the citizen side. But uh, risks, uh, what uh, this everything brings from the, for the countries is that there is some gap between powerful public services and low involvement of citizens in these public services. For example, you can build up all this infrastructure in country, but if nobody will use that, you really don't, there, is, there will not be any kind of success out of them. And domination of governmental agencies in IT environment. So in 2013, before the elections, I don't know, maybe we knew that we will lose the elections, we created information, we, we started working on individuals. How we can bring the knowledge to the citizens who live in Georgia in order to uh, make them to realize that the world became global, and they can use all these facilities, what we are creating in country, and they can develop their businesses, or I don't know, they can become entrepreneurs, and they can offer different businesses to different uh, uh, people all around the world. So um, that's why, like, uh, we created this uh, uh, information literacy foundation. We established that in Georgia, and uh, our global objective was uh, to ensure social and economic welfare via increasing access to high-tech and e-services. Project objective was uh, information literacy promotion in Georgia. And target group was especially rural population, where computer, there is no access to the computers or there is really big lack of knowledge in terms of new technologies. And uh, like from the beginning, we opened 300 uh, uh, centers all, 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 all around Georgia. It was uh, in September last year, and we started delivering of all these services through that uh, computer centers. Um, we created special infrastructure, we brought there some PCs, we recruited two persons in each village, and they started from, uh, I don't know, banking services to the governmental services, they started delivering this everything, but together with that, they opened some computer literacy classes, and we started teaching people and citizens how they can use new technologies in order to develop themselves. This is the map of Georgia, and uh, uh, by the way, from the beginning, we thought that out of the 300, maybe the success rate 
it will be something like 50%. But even today, all these computer centers are working and they are delivering new knowledge to entire society in Georgia. We hope that uh, we will be able now to initiate all these changes from the bottom to the top. Since we are not in the government and we cannot work from the top to the bottom, now we have different strategy and we are working from bottom to the top on all these reforms. So there is of course interest, uh, grow, growing interest from around the world and that's why we created uh, this ego consulting uh, together with uh, uh, Darius, here is Darius, uh, together with him we created this ego consulting and of course if there will be interest from different uh, public governmental business sector we are ready to share our experience from Georgia. Thank you very much.